Sean Sewell with ingearment.com. Welcome to our studio slash gym. In this review, I'm gonna go over the fit, features, and function on the very popular 10,000 brand interval shorts. We've reviewed these on our website. Nate Smith reviewed them last summer. Uh, people all over the internet swear these are the best training shorts out there. So I asked them to send some over and I'll give you my thoughts on the features, functions, and overall impressions on these shorts. Let's get into it. First, we'll start with sizing as we always do. I am six foot one, 215 pounds, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 32 inch inseam. These shorts are a men's large. Usually I'm a medium in uh, say boxer briefs or shorts with elasticity. And as these have right here, elastic band, but the size large actually fits me very, very well. So hopefully that little insight is helpful. Uh, the band itself is a very thick, elastic, soft band. It doesn't get in the way when you're doing squats or lunges or any kind of activity where a band sometimes could get right into those hip flexors. So that's pretty nice. The design is a pretty simple layout. It's elastic, four-way stretch. You get two hand pockets that are mesh um, backed, and then you get one smaller pocket. And I'm not too sure if it's intended for a phone because there is a media port. This is the iPhone big, whatever the current big version of the iPhone is. It will fit in here, barely, and I can zip it up. And there's what I believe to be a me uh, media port right there for headphones. However, right there, it just goes right into the hip flexor. So it's not a pocket I would use for a phone. I would, however, use it for an ID or a locker key or something like that. A nice secure place for that. There are no rear pockets. That's totally fine because these are training shorts and you probably shouldn't have your wallet on you if you're training in the gym in the first place. Um, experience with these, they sent these over in June. It is now the end of September. I've used them quite a bit with the kettlebells, which you see right here, uh, TRX, Mace, the tools I typically use to train myself. Um, in our gym here in Denver, Existence Athletics, we use them there uh, during seminars, uh, Strong First seminars and, and uh, our own seminars as well. And they've been very, very comfortable. There's two versions of these shorts. There is the non-lined for $58, then there's the lined, which these are, and they're $68. The liner is this guy right here. So it's kind of a compression short built into it, and you can kind of see the line of my six inch boxer briefs right there. But it gives you a sense of security. Some people really like compression shorts when they're training. I don't care, honestly, either way, because um, I wear boxer briefs and that's enough compression for me, in my opinion. But it is kind of a nice sense of security having that compression built in. They say it's some kind of Italian soft material. It is rather soft. And um, it is available in a few different inseams. This is the nine inch inseam, kind of an awkward little measurement right there. They have a seven inch and I believe a five inch. So you can uh, pick which one you would like. Personally, my day to day shorts are usually six to eight inches. Um, so a seven inch might be nice to try next time. However, this nine inch plays nicely with training. It doesn't get in the way. It hits above the kneecap right here. Does it get in the way of the VMO or anything? And it looks pretty nice. The red burgundy color is uh, a nice choice. My wife really likes it. People rave about these shorts online. I was trying to research this. People are absolutely fanatical about it, including one of our own riders, Nate Smith. Um, great coach and he lives in these shorts. He loves them. He has lined and unlined versions and he loves them. Fellow coach Clay at our gym has them as well. And I'll include some pictures of Clay using his shorts from 10,000 as well. So um, overall impressions, they're great training shorts. I can see why people rave about them online. They're very, very comfortable. Uh, the liner was a nice surprise. Again, because I don't usually use lined shorts. Um, the unlined shorts I imagine would be great for overall use as well, say swimming or paddleboarding and training, where these, I, I probably wouldn't want to jump in a creek with the liner, just would take a lot longer, in my opinion, to dry. But overall, they're, they're very comfortable, they're very attractive. The price is fair, $68, that's, you know, right in line with other brands out there. The looks are nice, there's laser cut venting along here. I don't know if it really adds to you drying quicker or venting better, but it's there. Um, and the aesthetics are nice. Very, very nice. Waistband is one of my favorite parts. It's not uh, 
super tight, even though it's a large, I, I kind of thought it might, might be a medium, but their sizing chart is your, gonna be your good reference right there. But the, the waistband just plays very, very nicely. It's a, doesn't dig in when I get into deep squats and lunges. So hopefully seeing the shorts on me, on a person in general, going through movements and measuring things out and showing you how the sizing works. Hopefully that's helpful. If it was, a thumbs up is always appreciated. If you want to see more fitness content, and we have a lot more, including some podcasts with some strong first instructors uh, here very soon after we have seminars at our gym, then consider subscribing to our Gearmit YouTube channel. Link right there. I'm Sean Sewell, the owner and director of Stoke for Ingearmit. Until next time, take care. Thank you.